Hey, this video will be about sharpening end mills and uh, I'm not saying that this method is the right method or it is uh, the preferred method of sharpening end mills. I'm only saying that this is my way of sharpening end mills and uh, I have already sharpened this too this two flute and uh, this roughing end mill four flute four flute and uh, I was thinking of sharpening this it's pretty dull and uh, you see how it goes I made this fixture several years ago and uh, you can probably buy something like this on eBay or some resellers. Anyway, the base of this is made of cast iron and the other details here are made of steel. And uh, it uses it use a collet ear 32 and uh, there's one drawback about this fixture and that is that I can only sharpen two and four flutes and mills and uh, Maybe I will upgrade this fixture in the future to see to suit it to three, five and six flute end mills too. Normally you mount this type of fixture on a magnet table such as this. But uh, I don't trust my old magnetic table. The magnets have became become uh, weak during the years. So I will mount the fixture on the milling table with uh, these clamps. You can see here, now the magnet is on and I can move this fixture like this. Uh, because I don't own a surface grinder, I will be using my milling machine. This is of course not optional, but uh, it's better than nothing. Max RPM on this milling machine has, or as you can see, 1500 RPM. And that is quite low for a grinding wheel. Somewhere around 3000 RPM or higher. Uh, would have been more suitable, but uh, I use what I have. First thing to do will be to dress the wheel, and I will be using this tool that got a small diamond here at the top. And uh, I got something else here in this block. There are thousands of diamonds. I don't know if you can see the glitter. But uh, thousands of diamonds in this block for dressing wheels. I think this block will be quite expensive if you buy it. This uh, fixture function as this. This is spring loaded and you rotate it and then you you lock it down with this screw. It's quite easy. And the cutting angle 
is 5 degrees. So if you look, look at uh, this end mill, the, the cutting angle I should, is 5 degrees and the release angle is 20 degrees on this. Normally it, use, it is uh, 30 degrees, but uh, 20 degrees on this and that is working okay. And you also got a 2 degree angle here. Two degree lower in the center than than out here. So this will be the end mill that I'm gonna sharpen the cutting edge on. The thing is to get this cutting edge 90 degree to the grinding wheel. Like so. I have marked this cutting edge with a sharpie so we can see how the green grinding is going and uh, I also make a mark back here so I can see where to start and where to stop. to see but now the cutting edits are sharpened and they are really sharp in fact. Next thing to do will be to grind this relief angle that in this case is 20 degrees and uh, The, I'm going to cut the relief angle by uh, tilting the table 15 degrees. Well, you said 20. Yes, the cutting edge is 5. And if, and if I tilt the table 15 degrees, 15 plus 5 makes 20. That's the way I'm going to do it. I will use this black sharpie to put some color on this. Release angles too. Something like that.
this is how the newly sharpened, sharpened end mill looks. I think uh, we will try how it cuts in some metal too. Let's do that. Okay, let's try this sharpened end mill on a piece of aluminium. Cut one millimeter deep. So oh, it looks like this, pretty nice I think. Well how about steel then? Let's try to build this end. Better clean out the ships like so. I think the surface of this is pretty rough. I uh, will mill it one more time. Little higher speed this time. I think that looks much better. Well, that was my way of sharpening an end mill. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon again. Bye bye.